Hey, what is going on guys? Deterrus with Tech Review here, and I actually recently made the switch from iOS to Android. And so far, it's amazing. But I actually wanted to do something further because my iPhone broke, and I wanted to find the best Android launcher. Now, as you can see here, my iPhone 5S isn't really in good shape. Actually, it's not in a good shape at all. So it is broken, and I am using the Samsung Galaxy S4 just to experience the Android experience and to see if I will fully become an Android person or keep using iOS. Alright guys, so this is my full review of the Go Launcher for Android. Also, make sure to check out my buddy Jairo's video where he also covers this and he's the one who actually gave me the idea to make this video, so make sure you check him out. So you get this on the App Store and there also is a promo which you can get for a little bit of money, but for this one we're only diving into the free version. So as you can tell, first thing by installing the Go Launcher is that your phone will look a little bit different. Now you'll be able to customize things like the way your icons look, the way how you want your phone to look itself, the way you want it, the color scheme of how you want your background and icons to look, and many other things. Now you can also change the scrolling animations, which is something that I really like about Android, and because you'd have to jailbreak your phone if this were iOS. Now here I am flipping through the variety of different scrolling effects that you have and this is awesome and I really give props to Go Launcher for adding these scrolling effects. Now you can actually choose a variety of wallpapers one of the cool things that Go has added is actually their own online wallpaper gallery where you can get free wallpapers that are HD and will be great for your phone. Actually I've gotten a couple of wallpapers and it only takes less than a second to install a wallpaper. This is really awesome, I really like to go on there and find and change my wallpapers from time to time. Now one thing that I also like about the wallpapers is you can actually choose things like filters and actually change the color of how you want your wallpaper to look. Now I really like this because let's say you have a wallpaper but you don't really like the color scheme of it, you can really apply a filter and then the color scheme will change. Now you actually have also different widgets that you can choose from. One of the widgets that I actually really liked was the flashlight widget where a flashlight icon would appear on your home screen all you have to do is just click it for your flashlight to turn on. Now you're probably wondering how to get themes, so pretty much guys you'll be able to go on the ghost store itself and you have a huge variety of themes to choose from. As you can see here I actually have installed this red theme that actually looked really nice and I've installed this and as you can see now my icons and everything looks completely different. This is what I mean by you can customize your phone how you want it and of course I'll leave all of these themes that I have installed for this video down below. Now with the Go themes you can change so many things like how the app icons look or how your wallpaper looks and you can just change so much and it's really all up to you how you like your preferences. Well, here I have another theme right here, this one's called black and white and I actually have a couple of themes to choose from and what I like to do is change my themes from time to time so I can have a variety of ways that my phone could look. Overall, the Go Launcher is an awesome launcher. This is why I think it might just be the best launcher for 2015. But anyways, guys, if you have any launchers that you would like to recommend or any themes for the Go Launcher, make sure to comment down below in the comment section. Remember to click that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.